this interview has uh, been over a decade in the making. It's been building up, and I think uh, timing is everything. And I'm appreciative that we got uh, one of our local legends. I have to say it because if no one else, well, I, a lot of people say it, bro. A lot of people mention it. A lot of people talk about it. But I still don't feel like you get the credit that you deserve because there's not too many artists that have been able to put on as many people as you have and help launch careers of as many artists as you have. And you deserve those flowers and that credit. I appreciate that, my the, guy. The Bay legend himself, a hip-hop legend. Thank you. My guy, I Am Sue. What's up with it, man? Look, man, I'm just happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here, honestly. Look, it's look, my first I'm... interview in a million years. I feel like I just got unthawed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it feels great. We've been talking about a bunch of stuff before the, uh, the cameras kicked off. The highlight of my head is a uh, lemon pepper wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But <laughs> next time you come down, you know, I'm gonna show you. Hell I'm gonna yeah. show you, man. Make sure you get them extra crispy. Yeah, you know for what I'm sure. saying? The food uh, out of Atlanta. <laughs> I know you're you're back and forth. You got a yeah. home here. You got a home. Yes, sir. Out there, you yes, just sir. been busy, bro. For sure, for sure, man. Got my album, I Am Summer out. You know, back and forth from the Bay to the A and all over the planet. So it's been a blessing. And you got I Am Summer coming up August 5th. California I Am Summer Spirit August 5th. That's big, bro. Man, it's a dream come true, and there's so much nostalgia behind that. So being able to perform there. It's my second time actually performing there. Mm -hmm. I performed in 2016 with Jay Boog, mm -hmm. and that was real fun. So being able to go back on my own is like a, a huge accomplishment. So shouts out to them for, you know, assisting and making this happen. For sure. Uh, California's Great America, uh all the brands, all the different names. Paramount's Great America. When I was a yeah, kid, yeah. we remember the rides. What was your favorite, like, your number one ride, Great America, all time? Oh, so, you know, what's crazy is, like, the super crazy rides. I'm, like, a little spooked. I like that SpongeBob 3D ride. Oh, yeah, that was my <laughs> thing. <laughs> for sure. That was my thing, for I sure. I saw you shot a uh, video, like a promo video for Iron Summer, and then with the chairs moving. Yeah. The shopper, that was hard. For sure. Right yeah. on. Yep, yep. I got some crazy plans for that, but I must save that. Oh, word. Yeah, so, there's more, there's more building up it's so all much this. more. I got like, yeah, this is just like the tip of my iceberg, you know, got of you. this phase, you know. So you don't, you don't do like the roller coasters at all. You don't have. Like I do get on some roller, roller coasters. Like? I do get on some roller coasters, but not like, not though. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. I did the maniest one that they've had over the years. You remember Stealth, the first flying roller coaster they had? The stand up one? No, uh, no, that's that that was Vortex. I think they call it like American a Patriot or something. Oh yeah, like they that. call it Flight Deck. Yeah, oh yeah, that's Top Gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did a little old school stuff. <laughs> yeah, they got classics in there. They got yeah, classics, so many still, ones. They just changed the name. No, exactly. They just changed the name. Yeah, man. So like I was mentioning, like it's 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 dope to have you in here. It's dope to get this conversation going because I've been a supporter of the music. Uh, with yourself, with HBK Gang, with the whole movement from I, when I first started radio back in 2011, bro. And what Thank we you. at 2023 now? 2023, about to be 2024. That's, it's crazy how fast this time flew by, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I remember being young in the game. Yeah. It's like, man, I'm like an OG now, so it's crazy. <laughs> OG, People calling me Big Bro and Unk, and I'm like, golly. Yo, what was what's one of like the first like memories you have from when like the first couple of years of everything kicking off? Because you had a lot of records. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously up is was and continues to be as big as it is. Man, crazy. And, years uh, and years later, yeah. But like, I mean, there's other records that you had that were going crazy too. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, for sure. I mean, a early memory of just like music taking off. I'll probably say uh, performing at Cal State East Bay, and yeah. this is when I was like still going to the school so mm -hmm. it was like um so cracking that they shut it down yeah and that was like i'm like wow like it's really something going on now like there's really a wave you know so that was probably my craziest early memory yeah. was like being a student at the school okay i got the show going Everybody's supporting it, but they was like, it's too many people, and the police came, and they stopped the show. Bro, we couldn't I, perform. I, we might have been at that show. Yeah, she was at that show. You was there? We, yeah, we okay. were talking about it, because, like, <laughs> look, we were at Chabot. We were down the hill. Yeah. We knew what was going on at East Bay. What was it called? Summerfest or something like that? Something or, like that. Or, yeah, yeah it was at night. It was Summerfest during the day. It was, yeah. Something like that, but they it was had a crazy. Lot of shows going back to back. I know y'all. You were there. Other artists. I remember that's when the outfit were together. Yeah. That's okay. When they had Ying Yang. 
Gang Twins. Yeah, for there. sure, for uh, sure. Another show like bro, it was back. Yeah, back we was at fire. all them shows. We did the one with the outfit and Ying Yang Twins. Yeah. Then I came back with Miguel and Lupe Fiasco, and then um, I came back again. Like yeah, bro. Over the it years, it was crazy in the amphitheater, crazy. and it was crazy. Yeah, Hell yeah, man, that's awesome. That's dope. And over the years, you uh, remain relevant and remain consistent. I appreciate. I that. mean, there's a lot of records, a lot of uh, collaborations. What's what, what's one of your favorite collaborations that you've had over the years that people still talk to you about today? My favorite collaboration over the years probably would be with Snoop Dogg. That was like yeah. a bucket list moment for me. So to be able to have multiple songs with him is like that's my by far favorite for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Oh, uh, another one of those lists popped up lately. Yeah. You seen the, uh, I think it was the Team Bay Area. And look, man, every single time someone drops a list in the Bay Area, we get so upset and so frustrated. It's like we don't even have the guidelines to what they yeah, went Yeah, like, what's the criteria? Like, if they're going on sales, we know Hammer number one. <laughs> Hammer, for sure. For <laughs> sure. He went Diamond. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's, that's different. Yeah. Yeah, you know, for he had sure. the, the, the TV show with his talking shoes. I used to watch that. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. What do you what do you like when you see these lists pop up and of course you were acknowledged on the list uh, yep. as you should be right on. um probably uh a little bit deeper than I thought you would have been personally based on the the records and the producing that you do behind every some of these songs you too know? Yep. you would think you think you'd be a little higher but what do you think about these lists when they drop I think everybody entitled to their own opinion and you know when a list come out it's meant to make people talk it's meant to make people speak on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that's cool. As long as they're talking about the Bay and talking about rap and the music, stuff like that. Me, personally, I'm not really tripping, bro. I'm not never been the type to really trip off what somebody else got to say. Yeah. I'm just always going off of how I feel about it. So... You know what I'm saying? I looked at that list and it was like on to the next, but all the broskies was in the chat going crazy I and bet. <laughs> everybody has something to say and like Cool John was on Twitter speaking his mind, you know, Hell so yeah. it is what it is, but I feel like the number one thing about that list and like you were saying the spot, I mean, I'm like the story's still being written, you yeah. know, it's so many OGs and legends on that list and it's like I'm still in the game, you know, so it's way more history to be made, so instead of looking back, it's like What's the next thing? That's that's what I'll be on. Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, history's gonna be made with August 5th. Absolutely. California's Great American. Thousand and one percent, man. If you ain't got your tickets, man, get them right now, man. And friends. We going through the roof, man. Look, unlimited said, surprises, man. Now, uh, do you do you wanna mention anybody who may be showing up? I mean, I think we can if we look if we look at the collabs, right, over the years, and we yeah. look at the people in our region that are doing what they're doing, we can kind of get a good idea of who may pop up, but is there anything you want to share? Man, I'm going to just shout out everybody I posted. You know, Cool John, yeah. Dave Steezy, Skipper, mm. CJ, Showbanger, DJ Shellheart. You know, we supporting the city of Richmond. We bringing that culture all throughout the Bay. You know what I'm saying? So we just coming through and spreading love, man. It yeah. might be some extra sprinkles of game in there, man. It ain't no telling, man. Absolutely. Make sure you secure them tickets, man. Yesterday, Facts. man. And I got tickets on the air, too. I've been giving out uh, tickets this week. Big shout out to you for providing absolutely, for us. Absolutely. Sue came through and made sure that we have some tickets to give out to the For Night sure. Got to keep y'all laced, man. If anybody on the team want to slide through, you know y'all green as well. Pulling up. Great America. Some roller coasters. Some rides. Some fun Water cakes. slides. True. Water park. South Bay Come Shores. Come on, man. Water slides. Snacks. <sighs> It's can, you, can you tell I like snacks? <laughs> I had no clue, bro. But realistically, they got funnel cakes. They yeah. got churros. They got chicken tenders. They got a Panda Express in there. Yeah. They got a Starbucks in there. You know what I'm saying? It's however you want to play it, they got it, man. How do you dipping dots? You know, <laughs> right for sure. Them dipping dots expensive as hell though. It's for like sure, nine dollars. Right, probably thirteen bucks for the dipping dots. But it's they worth in there it, though. though. Uh, how do you pick the first song you start with? Man, that's a good question. Um, this show, I wanted to keep the energy on 10. So yeah. I'm coming out on a million. You yeah, know what I'm sure. saying? And just going to give them a classic. As soon as I come out the gates, classics, and then it's just bam, 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 bam. Just an hour straight. Bangers. Just surprises. You know what I'm saying? And definitely, I'm excited to get up there and rap. You know? For sure. I need you to have a convo with Cool John the rest of the gang. We need another swag and type record yeah. for the Bay Area. I okay. feel like I feel like... We're missing that right now. We're missing those. That's true. Those records. I mean, I remember uh, CFOPA was a thing. Right. Okay. You I, know I, something I think, for oh, sure. Oh, first bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> okay. right, look, we've been there. Uh, but I think we. I think we need that. I think we need that to come too, man. It's, well, that's perfect timing, man. You know, we got a whole stash of music. It's yeah, our yeah. ten year anniversary 
of uh, Gang Forever this year. So we got a whole batch of music that's like, you know, I could probably play it after we get off the thing. But um, yeah, I probably got like 40 Heartbreak Gang songs in my phone. You know, we've been cooking up. So it's on the way. Yeah, I heard. I had Skipper and CJ here recently, and they were right. talking about, yo, it's like the old times. We've been back in the lab Yeah, cooking. we've been cooking. Yeah, yeah. You know, life, you know how it goes. Everybody gets older, got kids, families and stuff. You know, you start separating. But um, we've been making a conscious effort to just lock in with each other every week. You know, we have studio sessions once a month. Mandatory. We'll be recording in between that, but mandatory. Everybody got to come through, and um, we go to baseball games and stuff, yeah, yeah. and we just – bringing that camaraderie and that community back and that's just providing a wave i'm just seeing the growth from there you know yeah a lot of people you know you'll see stuff i know you don't pay attention to what people say online but they'll be like yeah it you know hbk isn't a thing anymore blah blah, blah. yeah but like it's like like you said everybody gets older you have kids you have families everyone's yeah. working on their own individual projects it's right. not you're not always gonna be together it's not always gonna be a thing but the gang is forever yeah i don't know if hbk is a thing i can't confirm that but i do know heartbreak gang is a 1000 yeah. percent a thing locked in and that's 4l you know it's tatted on us it's not going nowhere so that's a forever thing you know so Absolutely. it's going down hell yeah love that love that um out of the artists that are coming up right now, who are you who do you got your eyes on? Whether they're from the Bay or from outside of our region, who are some people? Oh that man, you're I listen at? to so many dope artists, bro. Like honestly, Jordan Ward. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of him? No, I haven't. He's fire, bro. Jordan Ward. I would say Lil Bean. Um, Lil Kayla is real, real dope. She's going crazy right now. Man, bro, for real. So that's that's real dope to see. And, like, I, I would say them three right now for sure, gotcha. like the ones I'm checking for right now. That's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. Hopefully in the future uh, you would uh, collab with them or something. You feel for me? sure. Me and Lil Bean actually got a couple collabs. Yeah. I definitely want to get one with Jordan Ward and me and Lil Kayla for sure overdue. I want to yeah. really produce for her. That's Hell what I yeah. really want to do. I bet I mean, them beats to go crazy. Yeah, that will be fire. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, man. What do you want to tell uh, your fans has been rocking with you since the beginning, since those early days, like those records I mentioned earlier? throughout the years and throughout the different projects because you put out a lot of music over the yeah, years. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I don't know how many, the number on the projects <laughs> it is. I, I'm pretty sure you don't Bro. know what the number is the top of your, do you? If I had to estimate it, it would probably be like in the 30s. Damn. Um, I know my um, my catalog, when I looked at my publishing thing, and this is like an older catalog, that had like 350 songs in Damn. it. Damn. But I've probably dropped more since then. But what I would say to everybody that's been supporting me, I'm just super grateful um, and appreciative to be able to continue to pursue my dreams, you know, because without the support, I wouldn't be able to do it at this level. So, you know, I'm thankful. So Hell thank yeah. you to everybody. So, bro, I appreciate you, man. It's, it's, it's been a minute trying to make this happen, but it happened yes, when it happened. Sir. And it's good. I am Summer uh, Fest going down. August California's 5th, baby. America. August 5th, uh, tickets on 997 now every night. You can also, there's a link right there. We can buy some tickets on the website as well, too. Just pull up to the website. We got you. Lock in with the man with the plan, man. Yes, Get sir. you them tickets, man. Hell yeah. It's 997 now.